10th of March, Sinter Merz. When I started this job, I of course expected that our imitation antiques made for the fake world of film would be totally fake as well. But this doesn't seem to be the case. At least those items I am in a position to examine are historically accurate, down to the most hidden buttonhole. Who knows, perhaps they're even more accurate than the so-called genuine articles. God knows how many times they've been restored by now, and how many are turning into dust in Europe's museums of history and civilization, if these museums haven't already been destroyed by the war and consumed by the flames. The reason for this historical accuracy is highly peculiar. The research staff that is employed here to guarantee the accuracy of the costumes is for the most part European, primarily Jewish. And they used to work as historians and academics in archives and collections. They were expelled by Hitler. And it was only here, at the edge of the Western world, that they found peace. But Göttingen and the Sorbonne have left their mark on them. When these academics were fortunate enough to find jobs, even jobs in their own research areas, they were far too inflexible to give up their old work ethic. And if they sat together and watched the films created by the industry they work for, they would be embarrassed. There are only so many new things one can learn in a second or a third life. One certainly can't learn cutting corners. Still, it would never occur to them to abandon their incorruptible precision for the ignorant masses they now serve. When they were still working in the service of pure science across the Atlantic, they were so proud of their expertise. But should they still be here? Should they not feel doubt, shame even? Do any of them realize that they, as refugees, are nurturing the cultural heritage of those who have forced them into exile? Do any of them realize how they are promoting the culture that is persecuting them. Do any of them sense how ridiculous and eerie all this is? Probably not. Certainly not the profiteers who read academic accuracy as a sign that everything is just swell. The actors who will be cast as gladiators, crusaders, cardinals, dragoons, jacobines, or SS men in the historical movies that will be made by Hollywood can rest easy. They know that no button was sewn into their costumes incorrectly and that none of the ruffs adorning their neck has even the smallest pleat to many. So this is, now, the world I work in. While on the other side of the Atlantic, millions are slaughtering each other. <laughs>